All right, so we're here at question two. So it's factorize and solve 12a squared minus 11a minus 15 equals to zero. All right, so we'll see here. So it should be 3a, 4a, so something that multiplies to negative 15 and then adds to negative 11. Um, Negative nine, negative nine. That was positive. Oh, okay. Yeah. So negative five here and positive three here. So just explain this again. So three a multiplied by three a. That's twelve a squared. Plus three multiplied by negative five. That's negative fifteen. And then if we say plus three multiplied by three a. That's nine a. And negative five multiplied by four a. That's negative twenty a. Negative twenty a plus nine a is negative eleven a. So that's right here and here. So now it's either three a minus five equals to zero, or four a plus three equals to zero. So right here is a is either positive, it's either positive five over three, or it is negative uh, three over four. All right, so finishing everything here, that should be a merit grade with both solutions. That's a merit grade. Uh, achieve should just be factorizing. So that's this here. If you complete up to here, you'll get your achieve grade. All right, moving along. Write this as a single fraction. So uh, you should have learned uh, in previous years that because the denominators aren't the same, we can't just add the, f we can't just take away the three and the four x because we have to make both the denominators has to be the same in order for us to do that. So we can just say x minus two bracket x plus one. And saying if we multiply 1 by x plus 1, the top has to be multiplied by x plus 1 as well. So everything multiplied by x plus 1, so that's 3x plus 3. 3x plus 3. Minus um, bracket, the denominator should be the same. So we can subtract the fractions. And then, uh, because we multiply this fraction by x minus 2, we have to multiply that 4x by x minus 2 also. So that the 4x becomes negative 4x squared minus 8x. All right. So then we can, so because the denominators are not the same, we can, we can um, add these, uh, subtra sorry, subtract these fractions normally. So 3x plus 3 minus 4x, that's negative 4x. Double negative makes a positive, so that becomes positive 8x, okay? So that becomes negative 4x squared um, plus 11x. And then the plus 3 just remains because there's nothing here. So it's just plus 3. And then we'll divide this by x minus... 2x plus. Yeah, also with the denominator, you can choose to expand it or not to expand it. Really, it doesn't really make a difference. But I just like leaving it like this because why not? Now you can just check if there's, if you can expand the top part with the graphics calculator. And it appears that this is the most simplified you can get. So that, that should be your final answer right here. Okay, so correctly simplified, that means up finished up to this part, it should be a merit grade. Um, correct, sing, uh, one single fraction correct, so it's either this correct, or it's either this correct, will get you an achieved. Either one of them will get you an achieved. So here. Yeah. Alright. Alright, next question. Solve the equation x squared plus 2x minus 8, divided by x squared minus x minus 2 equals to 3. Okay, so what you want to do here is once you want to get rid of the fraction, and we do that by moving the denominator to the other side. So by moving the denominator to the other side, divide becomes multiply, so 3 multiplied by x squared minus x minus 2, okay? Equals to 2x plus 2x plus uh, minus 8. So x squared plus 2x 
minus 8 should be equal to 3 multiplied by x squared minus x minus 2. And now we just open this bracket over here. So it's just, just the same over here. So x squared plus 2x minus 8 should be the same here. So 3x squared, uh, 3 times negative, that's negative 3x. And then negative 2, that's negative 6. All right, so now we want to make um, uh, make uh, equal to 0. So we do this by moving x squared plus 2x minus 8 to the other side. So it becomes minus that. So it becomes 0 equals 2. Uh, 3x squared minus x squared, that becomes 2x squared. Plus 2x becomes minus 2x. So minus 3x minus 2x, that's minus 5x. And then the negative 8 becomes a positive 8. So 6 plus 8, so that becomes plus 2 here. All right, so now we want to try to uh, expand, uh, not expand, sorry, factorize this. So 0 equals to something 2x and something x. All right, so sh should work out to be negative 2 and negative 1. Negative 2 times positive, that's negative 4x. Negative 1 times x, that's negative x. And if you multiply negative 1 and negative 2, that's positive 2. So that checks out. So now you can see that x is either 1 half or x is um, 2. Alright. So, um, Oh yeah, okay, sorry, I forgot to mention this, so after you get your uh, solutions, always substitute it back into the original equation to see if it checks out. So for example, if we substitute 2, right, let's for example substitute x equals 2, so the denominator would be x squared minus x minus 2, so that would be x squared, so 2 to the power of 2, that's 4, minus x, so minus 2, that becomes 2 again, and then minus 2 again, that's 0. And actually, in math, you actually can't divide by zero. So technically, this is a uh, this is a uh, not an actual solution, which means you should be crossing out plus two and leaving only the positive one half as a solution. All right. So grades for this question. So if you had both, if you had both uh, equate uh, both answers, but you didn't cross out the plus two, then you'd get a merit grade. But if you had crossed out the plus 2 and only acknowledged 0 0.5 as a possible solution, then that would give you an excellence grade. And, and the achieved grade should just be factorizing and expanding. So simplified. So it should just be up to here. So that should be an achieved right here. All right. Moving on. The height h meters of a tunnel is modeled by a function in the form h equals r x squared minus tx, where r and t are constants. All right, make x the distance in meters from the left side of the tunnel the subject of the equation. Okay, so we, we want to make x the subject of the equation. All right. Okay, so we can we should do this by using the quadratic formula. So that's the if you don't know already, that should be minus negative b plus or minus square root of b squared b squared minus 4ac and then divided by 2a equals to x okay so if we move it move this h to the other side it becomes 0 equals to rx squared minus tx minus h so now we can just plug in plug these r t and h into the quadratic formula so that becomes so negative t so that becomes just t because negative and negative cancel out there's t plus or minus square root of b squared negative t to the power of 2 that becomes positive t squared so t squared minus 4 times r 4 times r times negative h divided by 2r to all right, so we simplify this even more, so it becomes t plus or minus square root of t squared minus, you know, because the minus h makes everything minus and then ne makes everything negative, 
and then the negative outside flips everything around again so everything becomes positive so t squared plus 4 r h divided by 2 r should be the answer and getting all the way up to here should get you a merit grade and that should be all the only possible grade you can get for this question so moving on the shape of the tunnel can be modeled by a parabola the maximum height of the tunnel is 6 meters and at ground level its width is 12 meters Find the equation of the parabola. Okay, so we, we'll just say um, the y equals to h, the height is h, and then we'll use the uh, x-intercept format of the parabola. So if you have a parabola here, then what I mean is this point and this point where it intersects the x. The, yeah. So h equals to a, um, a x. So the shape of the tunnel, the maximum height of the tunnel is 6 meters and the ground level, its width is 12 meters. Okay. Okay, so the question tells us that its width is 12 meters. So that means we can just say a x x minus 12. So what's that basically telling us is just that. So when the width, well, so when um, when uh, x equals to zero or x equals to 12, then the height will be zero. So just imagine it like this. So if I draw a parabola like that. So when x equals to 0 and x equals to, that will be 12 here. So when x equals to 12 or when x equals to 0, then the height would be 0. So that's basically what that's telling us. So the only problem is we don't know what a is. a is the constant. We don't know what that is. But the good thing is that it tells us when the maximum height of the tunnel is 6 meters. Um, uh, so, so it's telling us when at the center of the tunnel, the height is 6 meters. So the tunnel should be the other way around, actually, it should be this shape. And you know that the center of 12 is 6. And you know that when x equals to 6, then height should be 6 meters as well. So if we substitute both of these numbers in, we should be able to find out what a is. So we substitute h equals 6, and we substitute x equals 6. So 6 is equal to a, we don't know what a is, We're trying to find that out. Um, x is 6. And then 6 minus 12. Alright, so we simplify this. So 6 equals to, that becomes negative 6. That becomes negative 36a. And you move the negative 36 to your other side. So you get negative 1 over 6 simplified equals to a. And therefore, we can write our new equation out. Our new equation would just be h equals to negative 1 over 6 x x minus 12 so that should be the final answer for your question and getting all the way up to here that's merit and then general form so recognition that 6 is equal to 6 of so here should be an achieved all right moving all right guys so here is the last question of question two and this question actually relates to the last question. Um, it says that there are two lanes of equal width for the tunnel. The outside edge of each lane is marked by a line so that a car of 1.8 meters will have a minimum clearance of 0 0.1 meters vertically from the top of the car to the tunnel roof. Find the width of each lane. Since, uh, so in the question they give you the height. So the height is actually not, not 1.8 meters, but it's actually 1.9 meters. Why is it 1.9 meters? It's because there's actually a minimum clearance of 0 0.1 meters, which means that it's actually 1.9 meters above. Alright, so it's giving you the height, and it wants you to find the width. So it's basically just telling you to use this previous formula we figured out right here, right here, this formula right here, dang it, this formula right here, and then we'll substitute h equals to 1.9 to find what x is. That's, that's basically it, like, there's not much else to this question. So we can just say 1.9, is equal to negative 
over 6, x, x minus 12. Okay, so, um, so we're going to open these brackets up first. So 1.9 equals to negative 1 over 6, x squared. Uh, uh, um, negative 1 over 6 times negative 12 that double negative but becomes a positive so it becomes positive 2x alright so now we have to make it to uh, the equation equal to 0 that means we have to move the 1.9 to the other side of the equation so 0 equals to 1 uh, sorry negative negative 1 over 6 x squared plus 2x minus 1.9 and now the easiest way to just approach this question is basically just to use a graphics calculator uh, the reason you can use a graphics calculator is actually just because like the question doesn't specify whether which type of method you need to use and i mean you could use the um uh, the quadratic formula and substitute a equals to negative 6 substitute b equals to 2 and substitute c equals to negative 1.9 but the question doesn't specify that you need to do that so uh, the simplest way is just to go into a gc and then plug in these numbers and you should be getting the values of x yeah so i'm just going to use my graphics calculator and plug in these numbers and see what i get so i actually get 1 x equals 2 1.04 meters or x equals to 10.96 meters all right so some of you might think that this is it we're done with the question but actually we're not done because it actually tells you to find the width of each lane so this is from so you see this point here with our market here and then there'll be like a similar point right, right here and then this distance between here and this line in the middle. So it's pretty much like that. So now you know that x, this here is 0 point here, and the line here is at 10.96 meters. So that means the, uh, the width between um, this left lane and the right lane is 10.96 minus 1.04. And if we do that, so 10. 0.96 minus 1.04 that gives us 9.92 meters all right but we're still not done yet because it says there's two lanes of equal width so that means we have to actually have to divide this 9.92 by 2 to find our final answer so 9.92 divided by 2 that should be giving us that should give us um, should give us four point nine six meters. Yes, and four point nine meters is the width of each lane, and that is the and here is where you finish the question. So, here finishing the question should get you an excellent grade. And then we realize um the it says that if we solve the height for one point nine meters, we get a merit grade. So basically, if we stop here, if we stop right here, we will get a merit grade. Alright, so markings for this question is same as NCEA marking. So it's just two excellences gets EA, one excellence gets E7, two merits get uh, M6, one merit gets an M5, three achieves gets an A4, two achieves gets an A3, one achieve gets an N2, and just... Um, basic um, attempt at one question gets you N1 and if you wrote nothing in your test then you'll just get N0. Alright, thanks for watching question 2 of NCEA 2014 algebra. Hope to see you in question 3. It might be coming out um, probably either, either late today or perhaps tomorrow. Yeah, sorry about the delay. Thank you. Bye.